your Netflix uh, chef's table was absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you, you're too kind. Thank you. You know. But, and I saw, I think, the struggle that you went through sure. with five tables booked in the beginning and being very frustrated. It was a busy night in the beginning, five tables. <laughs> you know, like a lot of nights with one table or no tables. And, and we only had like four staff in the beginning, myself and one other in the kitchen and two in the front of the house. And I mean, it's 10 years now and we employ 33 people. And uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see how things would ever change or get better. But uh, they did. We kept on kind of grinding and it was... Uh, yeah, it was a crazy, crazy time, but I wouldn't change any of it, you know? And how much has Netflix helped your business or changed your business? Well, our business was, was always, like, full anyway, but, I mean, it's actually been really massive, the, uh, the effect that Netflix had. I had no idea. I mean, you know, Brian McGinn, the, the, the director, had to talk me into doing the, the documentary for about six months, and, uh, and when I got to know him a little bit and trust him, I decided to do it because I'm not, like, a, a television guy, really, and... Uh, and I, I had no idea, like, of the wave of enthusiasm kind of for the show, and um, it, it was unbelievable. Uh, the reaction from people has been, you know, really humbling. You know, like, I've no idea that would, anybody would be interested, and uh, it was, yeah, it was super cool, actually. I got to say. And I think now the top 50 is coming to Melbourne next year. Then you don't know you're gonna regret wanting all the attention. <laughs> Suddenly you won't be able to take it enough. Oh, I know. It's uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's super exciting for Melbourne and for Australia that it's coming. And um, yeah, I'm really like uh, honoured that they chose Melbourne, and we're gonna try to show everybody it's coming a really good time and uh, and show them what Australian hospitality is like. It's quite a unique part of the world, and we have a lot of things that are very specific to our country and um, traditions and and ingredients and sort of ways of living and. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm just really looking forward to seeing all of my friends from all over the world down under. So, some of the chefs have traveled to Australia recently, like Rene did, yep. and brought his cuisine and learned from Australia. When are you going to come on the road and visit us in <laughs> London or in the US or somewhere that is a little bit closer to us? I, I don't know, I'm still waiting for the right opportunity. You know, sometimes it feels, I mean, in the last year I've, I left Attica once. Um, you know, like for two days I went to New Zealand. Other than that, I, I never, I never left at all, and um, and so it's kind of um, <laughs> there goes Ashley there. Um, it, so other than that, you know, other than leaving for those two days, I'm kind of at the restaurant all the time, and it's hard to leave. I mean, I have three young children. It's not to say I won't ever do it because you know it's, you want new inspiration, and if you if you know if you're getting bored, but I'm not bored, so I'm still really like constantly inspired by the country and and what I see there. So. But who knows, you know, who knows when, 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 when we will do something. It's definitely possible, though. And who do you think is going to win tonight? Well, it's hard to get past our Salah Khan Rocker. Um, I think um, Massimo and Lara from Osteria Aust Francescana have an amazing, amazing chance. But I also think that the guys from 11 Madison, if they won, it would be super well-deserved as well. Yeah. You know, I'm huge fans of them. Great.